Hello YouTube, we're back and this episode I want to focus on making the industrial centrifuge. Like I mentioned last episode, I need my copper, I need my tin. So we're going to go ahead and make an industrial centrifuge this episode. Um, should be, uh, I should come across a little bit of Greg tank, which isn't going to be a big deal. Um, some of it I'm going to need to learn how to use, learn how to create. There'll be a machine I have to make before I can make the centrifuge. So um, we'll just go ahead and look at the recipe real quick. Yeah, that's the one. All right, so we've got some plates and uh, we've got some advanced circuits. We've got an extractor and then an option of advanced machine block or steel or titanium hulls. We're going to go ahead and go with the um, plates. Uh, we're going to need a plate bender. Of course, we're going to go with the machine blocks, but the um, for the refined plates around the outside, we're going to do the uh, refined over the other ones. The advanced machine blocks also need a plate bender. You need a refined iron plate, a brass plate, and a tin plate to make one compressed metal ingot, which needs the plate bending machine. So we're going to need the plate bending machine for a couple different things on this build, which isn't that big a deal. Um, matter of fact, um, uh, plate bending machines used for a lot of different things. So to craft that, we need a conveyor module, which is uh, refined iron. It's got some glass, refined iron, circuits, and a rebattery. So none of that is actually Greg Tech. It's all pretty basic stuff, easy to do. So we'll go ahead and do that first. Making a conveyor. So I'll jump right back when I've got the uh, mats for it. Alright, so we've got the circuit, we've got the rebattery, we've got our glass, and then the refined iron. So that's our conveyor, pretty simple. Nothing you haven't seen other than the actual recipe for the conveyor. Uh, we're going to need some uh, pistons and of course this guy right here I go ahead and make the pistons off cam uh, but the compressor so we got some stone and machine block and circuit I think it might even have made that on camera already before so that's our machine block so now we're ready to go ahead and build the plate bending machine We've got our conveyor two circuits four pistons and two compressors. And we'll go ahead and um, look at the info on this. So max EU is 32, which is perfect because that's what our bat box puts out. Boo, he's bad. We want Bender. Um, I'm not in on Bender, so that's a Bender reference for people that are in on it. Let's figure out how I'm going to hook this guy into my little system there. Uh, right now it's mainly both machines are directly connected to the generator so and the bat box is not oriented properly for me to get this done back so I'm gonna go ahead and make a cool tool and I'll be right back okay get some diamonds and here's a cool tool two diamonds gold and cyan wool gives you a prototype omni wrench so this guy, he can flip and rotate thermodynamic machines. Uh, he can pick up just like a electronic wrench in lossless mode. He can pick up industrial craft machines. It's a little funky, doesn't always seem to like to work. I don't know if it's a lag or what, but 100% lossless. And this tool doesn't even have durability attached to it, so it's a permanent uh, electronic wrench you never have to recharge. It's also a Billcraft wrench 
and use, it's used for wrenches on a couple other mods. So I'll, I'll get a lot of use out of this guy. So we're going to go ahead and sh move around some of our machines. We're going to move our bat box up one so it's facing down and we can more easily add a uh, copper cable to the setup. So we can hook up more machines. Alright, there's our machine. We're going to add the geothermal generator and then add our extractor back in there. Don't have a use for it at the moment, but you never know. And then we know we're going to go back into the nether and we're going to go ahead and get our lava flowing again. I've uh, had a minor problem with getting uh, the engine to be reliable for some reason. Um, and when I do get this extractor done, I, I want to put it into the nether. It, it seems a bit odd, but um, you know, I, I could just feed off of the lava that's coming in and the, the generator that's already there, but um, since it's already chunk loaded around the Billcraft pump here, um, and I've got more room here to work with, uh, right now I haven't designated enough real room to uh, bother messing with anything. Um, it just makes a little sense, some sense to me at least. Alright, so we're going to head back and we're going to start crafting the rest of uh, what we need for the industrial centrifuge. Okay, so the rest of this should go by pretty quick. Uh, now that we've got the plate bending machine, we're going to put in some bronze, some refined iron, and some tin. And we're going to have the plate bending machine turn all this stuff into plates. We need these plates in particular for um, mixed metal ingots. Before we could put three bronze, three tin, and three refined iron and make two mixed metal ingots without this plate bending machine, but since we've got Greg Tech, we need those plates. And in a way, it kind of makes re it less resource intensive, in a way. Because now two plates, or uh, one plate of each gives you one mixed metal ingot. I just pulled out the uh, carbon plates. I went ahead and made the carbon plates off cam too. That's just macerating carbon, or uh, coal, into coal dust. And then you, uh, you go into the crafting table and you turn it into a, a mesh ball. And then you compress the mesh ball. And uh, it's pretty, pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Just a macerator and a compressor, or a pulverizer and compressors, which which I used. And now we need to go ahead and do a machine block. It's pretty simple, straightforward, and we'll pretty much have everything we need in order to make our advanced machine blocks as soon as we're done mixing the alloy. So this is the we still need to to craft a little bit more to this, uh, namely the uh, advanced circuit. So we'll have to make a basic circuit and then go ahead and upgrade it. I've done a basic circuit plenty of times before, so um, that's the basic one right there. Need two of those, and then we're going to turn these basics into advanced circuits. You need some glowstone. You need some lapis lazuli, and some redstone. So here's my lapis. And I'll have to pull up the recipe because it's been a long time since I built this. This isn't. Uh, Greg Tech doesn't have any changes to this guy. So we need two of him. And we just need to finish our... Um, oh, this is the um, extractor. Just a really basic extractor. I've, uh, I've already built one before on cam. So I've got the extractor. I'm making my last machine advanced machine block. So I should have everything I need to make this happen. 
Here are my two advanced machine blocks. It's a pretty important part. The extractor goes in the center, advanced processors in the top and bottom, and then refined iron plates around the outside. And here is our industrial centrifuge. Took a bit of crafting, but there's the block. It's a pretty cool looking block, if I don't say so myself. If I do say so I myself. I did a little work off cam. It's still cool. Uh, hope you're not mad. There's another book that you're going to link right to. Rather than going to that nether portal, I can come here. And this is where my um, mining w uh, my uh, billcraft pump was. None of that part right here has changed. One of these I came off with some uh, liquid duct. I dropped our industrial centrifuge here. And I decided to go with lava stills instead of... Uh, these guys right here, lava cells, uh, it requires a little less power if you just do the lava stills and you get roughly the same output. I mean, you get more tin when you use lava cells, but um, you still have to rebuild the lava cells. And when you rebuild the lava cells, you get the same amount back anyway. So uh, I don't think there's anything really lost there. Just going to wake this guy back up. He will get this lava still up to 16. And then... It'll fire. Up, it'll start up a cycle. Uh, we'll put our timer down. Okay, it's not going to work. I don't think this will work either. No. Okay. So I've got some red wire. That will. That will definitely work. There we go. So anytime something enters, it will go ahead and pull out full stacks. Since the um, so the entire thing is like three minute cycles. Actually, I think it's five minute cycles. Then I'll set this on uh, one minute. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I think that'll work. So as soon as we get our sixth one, it goes ahead and starts. And the recipe I'm going for. If I did this recipe, um, it takes four tin uh, to create this, the can. So all I would basically get back was two tin, and I would have to do go through the whole mess of fabricating the can. Um, Fourteen equals sixteen cans. So, and then I would have to go through the mess of actually um, filling the cans. So, uh, four tin up here, two tin. 2 tin here, I'm up 4 copper, 1 electrum, 1 tiny dust, but if we go to where are you this one, you're still up 2 tin here 4 copper here, 1 electrum and 1 tiny, and you're using lava still, which is just when you pour lava straight into it so it still uses 16 sources of lava, or buckets worth of lava, or whatever you want to call it. Um, you don't have to use the tin, you don't have to manufacture the tin, I think it's pretty good. And it even uses less power, it uses 5,000, 50,000 instead of 7,500, or 75,000. It uses less power anyway. Shorter cycles as well. So, I was going to pour lava straight into it, a whole lot easier, it's actually faster. So, that'll be cool. Um, it isn't fast though, but also, it's only I think 5 MJ per tick, so this guy could potentially run 4 of him. I'm going to leave this the way it is right now, um, but I'll add more on to it later. Um, and, yeah. Another downside is this guy keeps freezing up when, uh, when there's no location for the lava to go to. Eventually this guy fills up, this guy's full, this guy's full. He just kind of st stops. Oh, I bet you he just overheats. But he doesn't take water. It might be because we're hooking straight up to it. So I'm going to go... So I have to break this guy off.
this guy up. Cut off one. Then I can put the tank back down. Then I can put the engine back down. Facing the conduit. There we go. There we go. I don't think the timer is going to interfere with it. And we shouldn't shut off anymore. Cool. This should get up to 64. So that would be three runs, 20 minutes, I guess. But, um... Yeah, we'll see. So that's going to be my nether setup. See, we should be getting some positive there. Still positive? Mmm, it's up and down. It, it's slightly positive though. We'll let it run. We'll let it roll. What are we doing here? Cobble or let's see if we've got anything else going. Yeah, cool. Got some other stuff. Let's do it. Alright, so my next project is going to be an assembly table and I'd still like to do everything upstairs but upstairs is getting a bit crowded where I don't know that it won't be an issue but now I'll do the assembly table in this corner and I'll move my bed because beds are important everybody's got to sleep <laughs> put it right next to infinite water source. So on, on a good day, I'm going to roll out and go to the right. On a bad day, I'm going to roll over and go to the left and go into my infinite water source. Sounds like a plan. I think it works. Uh, meantime, though, I could just sack some of these guys up. Get them out of the way. These I'll probably just break so I can turn them properly. Where do these guys want to go? Where do you guys want to live? Maybe up in the corner here? I think it's a good place. Out of the way. We'll split the coal that you guys got. Oh, you guys got some bowls for me. Nice. I will turn those into wafers right now. Well, i go back to thinking about the... The, the um, uh, assembly table. I, um, I know I've got all the resources I need to make it happen. But I'd have to pipe some fuel over there, I guess. Or should I... Should I just pipe some... These guys over there? Should I run on three engines or four? Lots of questions, lots of questions. I'll have to think about it. Do it. So I'm not actually doing it this episode, I'm just doing prep work for it. There's a difference. Come on, you know there is. Um, maybe... Let's see. There, and I'll do three lasers coming down. We're maybe going this way. No, I'll have them go down. I'll put the table right there. That'll work for me. Sh 
so yeah. Lasers. Obsidian, diamond, and redstone. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and use the fabricator to make the lasers. Just modify the amount of obsidian I'm using. Pop the recipe in. And there's three lasers. One, two, three. And they're in. And we need the uh, assembly table. Okay, same resources, uh, but we need to make a, a diamond gear first. There's a wood. And then cobble. I'm going to need some gold after I do this iron. Okay, I'll take this up to gold. Yeah, I'm doing it on this episode. I'll just do some trimming somewhere where I'm just babbling on. And there's the diamond. I might as well just finish this on the project table. I've got everything I need. Just take the uh, redstone diamond out. And our diamond gear. Here's our assembly table. And I'll put it down where I right in the middle. Then we'll need a, um, a chest or something for the assembly table to output into. Looking for some wood here. Just a wooden chest will work. There it is. Alright, so... Let's put something in there. Um, yeah, just do a redstone gate. Why not? Boom. All right, we're getting a max amount. Uh, that's 12. That should be six per laser. Or three per laser? I, I don't know. Whatever. Whatever it is is what it is. So that actually, actually should cause a drop. Yeah, it's dropping. Went from a slight increase to now a slight drop. So I'm going to create some Antarctic gates off cam. It's these guys, maybe some iron. Uh, I'll, I'll figure out which gates I want to build. But um, it's a gate, which is a redstone chip. You put the redstone chip back in, you make a gate. That's the simplest gate you can have. And then there's a pulsating chip set, which is an ender pearl and a redstone. For that you get two. And then there's a redstone chip set, uh, redstone iron chip set. It's uh, redstone and iron. That's, you put that back in, you get an iron gate, I think. Uh, a redstone chip set. And gates, or gates. Now that's if you want to switch them. Mixer, assembly table. Okay, so a redstone chips, a redstone, uh, a redstone iron chipset, and a red pipe wire gives you an iron or gate. And then these pipe wires are really simple to make too. And I'll, I'll I'll make some combination of those kind of gates um, for various things like, uh, for instance, any place you would want to put a wooden pipe and a um, an engine. So like right here, I could put a gate in here, and then I wouldn't have to worry about this guy 
pumping away. It might even produce more, push more through. Not that we need it to. It's doing pretty good on its own. Uh, I think, yeah, the wire, the aqueous accumulator doesn't need one. But I could replace this guy if I wanted to. What's going on here? Okay, you're charging. How are we on batteries? We should be good. No, we've got nine dead batteries. Wow. And one in the charger. Maybe that's what my problem is. Maybe I need to make some more panels. Maybe that's why it wasn't running after the reboot. Like I expected it to. Because he's dead. I want these guys, I expect these guys to be singing here all full. Not all dead. Our timer's working, right? Maybe it needs to work a bit faster, or? No, I don't think it's the speed of the timer that's the problem. How is it lower than it was before? Okay, now it's going up. I think it's taking longer than it needs to, though. I think I'm going to add some, some more solar panels off cam. You guys saw me do the, the solar panels earlier on. Um, just electricity, solar panels, these guys right here. Not all that hard. I, I got all those uh, wafers. I'm going to turn them in eight of the. I'll probably add two more panels and it, we'll call it done. That should speed it up a decent amount. That would give us seven panels instead of five. Maybe I'll get it up to nine. I don't know. We'll see how well it's able to keep up. But obviously, right now, it's not keeping up. I got all those dead batteries there. Our machine's probably not moving right now. And it is moving. Okay, so, yeah, we'll go ahead and end the episode. So, thanks for watching. Uh, I know it wasn't spectacular, amazing. Ooh, I can't believe we did this, but um, we finished up the nether uh, end of our industrial centrifuge. Got all hooked up and running. Start to see some copper here. We got two copper, two tin, four copper, two tin, two tiny piles. So, uh, yeah. And we got our assembly table going. We're going to create some cool gates to remove some redstone engines, and um, they're also cool for uh, a bunch of other things. Thanks for watching an episode of my Feed the Beast Ultimate video series. If you had any questions, comments, or ideas about what went on in the video, then please leave me some feedback in the comment section below. Also, if the video was helpful, useful, or entertaining to you, then please like the video. If you did find this episode entertaining, then feel free to visit my YouTube channel and find the Feed the Beast Ultimate playlist to watch other videos. And subscribe while you're there so you know when the next video is available. See you next time.